Welcome to WebStyle Plus. Google is not new to AI. We already use AI powered smart replies in Gmail, such as short responses in Gmail as we reply to emails, smart compose that offers writing suggestions, and autocomplete feature as we type emails. So, there had to be an AI chatbot expected from Google, and that is Google Bard AI. Google Bard AI is an experiment from Google that was behind waitlist for some time. Google has removed waitlist for this AI chatbot. This means anyone can use it now. It's free. Supercharge your imagination, boost productivity, and bring your ideas to life. To use Google Bard, go to bard.google.com, sign in using Google account. After that, click the button that says Try Bard. Read terms of service and privacy notice, scroll down and click I agree. BART AI is an experiment. That means it may not get everything right at this point. It may produce inaccurate or inappropriate responses. It will however get better with time and your feedback. You can also verify BART AI responses from Google search. It can provide real-time answers. So what can BART AI do? It can do many things including answer your questions in a comprehensive and informative way even if they are open-ended, challenging or strange. It can generate different creative text formats of text content like poems, code, scripts, musical pieces, email, letters and more. It can translate languages. It can write different kinds of creative content. It can help you with your work or studies. It can be your friend and companion. But it is still under heavy development and learning new things every day. Click continue if you see this pop up. And here it is. Enter questions in input box or speak through microphone and hit enter. Response against the prompt will be generated. If you speak through microphone, speech will be converted into text prompt. From the left side, you can reset chat, view barred activity, read facts see the updates, get help and support, and switch theme to light or dark. Let's pick a question from examples. After it prepares the response, it displays full response on screen instead of typing it word by word. It generates three responses at the same time. First response is on display. Two others can be viewed by clicking at view other drafts link. Drafts give you more options to explore. Below response, you can Google same question to verify accuracy of response. Google it button will take you to Google search results page where you can read more about the requested topic. Below response, click at three dots to copy whole response in case you want to get it to use anywhere else. Other drafts give you more options to explore. If you do not like original response, it saves you from regenerating response again. If you still are not satisfied with generated drafts, you can generate drafts again. Click pencil icon to edit prompt text. Updating prompt text will regenerate response. You can toggle sidebar visibility, something you cannot do in ChatGPT right now. Reset chat option will remove current chat session and you can start as fresh. Separate chats are not saved as they are in ChatGPT. BARD AI can translate effortlessly. Chat session has some sort of context mechanism. You can reference anything from previous responses, but BARD AI's ability to remember context is limited right now. It may improve over time. BARD AI can code, ask it to write code, solve programming questions. It can do that easily. I asked to code a React.js counter app. It did it effortlessly using useState hook. From below, you can copy the code that was generated. It also provides source or reference if necessary or available. Bard AI is intended to generate original content and not replicate existing content. If Bard AI directly quotes from a web page, it cites that page. BARD stores your activity including prompt and responses but you can control it. Go to BARD activity page to turn it on or off. Turning off BARD activity will not store it anymore. You can choose to auto-delete activity as well. 
you can also delete the activity manually anytime. Click a detail link below single item in activity to view particular activity detail. Activities may take time to appear here. One thing that I like here is the ability to export response to Google Docs or copy it to Gmail directly from here. Once you export it to Docs or Gmail, it's there as draft. You can go there in time and use it. So Bard AI is kind of linked with Google Docs and Gmail. And then you can thumb up or down a response to help Google improve this service. Okay, besides all this, you can visit their fact page to know more about Bard AI. Let me mention some important things. Bard's ability to hold context is purposefully limited for now. As Bard continues to learn, its ability to hold context during longer conversations will improve. Right now, Bard is available in US English, Japanese and Korean languages. Support for more languages is on its way. When you interact with Bard, Google collects your conversations, your general location based on your IP address, your feedback and usage information. Do not include information that can be used to identify you or others in your barred conversations. Overall, I am excited about this chatbot because it can fetch live information and it's free. It's good alternative to ChatGPT. Give it a go. Okay, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.